Hi, I'm Ralph Schroeder, and I teach the Social Dynamics of the Internet course, which is a core course on the master's degree that we have here. The Social Dynamics of the Internet course is really designed to create a common core uh, to discuss the Internet on the whole rest of the degree. It's important here because uh, we are a department where we not only have a lot of different disciplines, but where you will be coming from a lot of different disciplinary backgrounds. So what this course is designed to do is to kind of create a shared understanding of the social implications of the Internet. So in order to do that, what we do is we tackle the really, really big issues, <laughs> such as globalization and how do you understand it. We look at a lot of different countries on the course. We look at the US, we look at China, we look at India, countries where the Internet is developing in lots of different ways. And apart from those big topics, we also cover the major theories, the major thinkers that have thought about this. Then, after we cover the, uh, the bigger topics, then we move into very specific uh, applications areas, such as search engines and search behaviors. We look at mobile phones. We look at things like Twitter and other microblogging platforms. And we try to see, in each of those cases, uh, how the implications differ and what we can think about in terms of whether these uh, ways of using the Internet are becoming more similar across the globe, whether they're becoming more different, how they vary, and so on. Once you've taken the course, uh, you will be in a very good position to look at all the different specialized topics that you cover in the second term. So as the master's degree progresses, you will become increasingly specialized also in terms of your thesis work and so on. And what the social dynamics course will give you is really a, a background, a framework also for your thesis work and for thinking about all these more uh, specialized uh, topics that you'll be encountering later on. One of the advantages of the social dynamics course is that you'll be introduced to such a range of issues that you'll be able to think about which option courses do I want to do, what do I want to focus on, do I want to focus on politics, do I want to focus on economics, do I want to focus on law, and so on. And also you'll be able to think about your thesis. What kind of theoretical perspectives can I bring to bear? What kind of conce concepts and uh, what kind of approaches will I be able to use? Uh, in developing my research. So you'll be taking the social dynamics uh, of the Internet course, and that's one of the core courses. The other core course that you'll be taking is the Internet Technologies and Regulation course. Now, the way these are different is that social dynamics is about theories, it's about disciplinary perspectives, it's about topics, and it's about social implications. The Internet Technologies and Regulation course is about how the internet works and about the regulatory issues such as privacy and anonymity and governance and so on. So if you like, one is much more policy focused, that's the internet technologies and regulation course, and social dynamics is much broader, uh, but also gives you the conceptual and theoretical equipment that you, have, that you will need in order to think about the internet. I love teaching this course. Um, it's really enjoyable, and the reason it's enjoyable is because you see all these different uh, disciplines coming together. I mean, we have students who've done very little social science. Uh, we have students who've done law, medieval literature, computer science, uh, economics, and so on. And to be able to kind of engage students uh, with all these kind of social science questions in these big theories, such as globalization and the Internet, it's really fun. <laughs>